week three of the fantasy football season. He has a few kickers I looked at off the wire this week. The first kicker, Dustin Hopkins of the Cleveland Browns. So this Brown team, I think all season, they're going to have trouble for the most part punching into the end zone. And we know Dustin Hopkins the last few seasons, he's been a solid kicker for fantasy owners and this Brown team. So week one versus Dallas, in that one he had seven fantasy points. And week two with Jacksonville, hitting a bunch of field goals, including a 52-yarder, 13 fantasy points. So week three, another good matchup versus the New York Giants, where they've given up a decent amount of points so far in the early going. But they've also been a bend but don't break unit in the red zone. So right now, while Dustin Hopkins is kicking the football well and putting points on the board, this Cleveland Brown team, he's a kicker. I would go out there and get this week the next kicker, Chris Boswell. Pittsburgh Steelers, Boswell still available in tons of fantasy leagues right now. So Boswell, we know he's got a good boot. Week one, monster game, six field goals, and that one was Boswell. And week two at Denver, once again, he hit a 52-yarder, an extra point, and a 25-yarder in that game. So Boswell and the Steelers, they're going to be a team all season that's going to rely on defense and grinding it out offensively, where there's going to be multiple opportunities per game for Boswell to kick field goals. So Boswell's got a good boot. He's one of the more accurate kickers of all time, believe it or not, kicking it, kicking it from 50-plus yards. And like I said, two or three opportunities, a minimum, I believe, Boswell's going to get it per game for this Pittsburgh Steelers team. So like I said, these are the type of kickers you want to target in offenses where they stall out a lot in the red zone and with kickers who have big boots and who could kick 50-yarders consistently. So Boswell, a hot pickup last week, not picked up in enough fantasy leagues, available in 74% of leagues. Next kicker, Daniel Carlson of Las Vegas Raiders. A couple years ago, he was a top five kicker in fantasy points was Daniel Carlson. Then last season, he had a down year with Carlson. And now, so far in the year we go, and he's been pretty decent, especially week two with Baltimore in the upset victory, hitting two plus 50 yarders to a 20, 29 yarder range and a 35 yarder and two extra points. And week three, a good matchup versus the Carolina Panthers that can't stop anyone. And I believe opportunities once again will be there for Daniel Carlson, available 90% of fantasy leagues. And this is another offense where I think it's gonna stall out more times than not in the red zone where Carlson who plays in the dome as well, which is great for any kicker. We'll have many opportunities and a kicker to add this week, the next kicker, Matt Prater of the Arizona Cardinals. So Matt Prater is still kicking strong and we've seen he's still got the big boot. Week one, he went out there, Buffalo had a decent kicking performance. And then week two versus the Rams, kicking a 53 yarder, five extra points and a 46 yarder in that game. So week three, a matchup versus former team, the Detroit Lions coming to town. In Arizona, and this Cardinal offense is high powered, I believe. Kyler Murray, Trey McBride, James Conner in the backfield. Marvin Harrison had the breakout game in his second career NFL game, and I think Matt Prater this season is going to be a solid kicker for fantasy owners and for this Arizona Cardinal team. With obviously his games indoors all season, so right now if you need a kicker and you're in deeper leagues, he's available in 93 percent of fantasy leagues. And the final kick I looked at off the wall is Jason Myers. Of the Seattle Seahawks. I've mentioned Myers a lot over the last few weeks, and he's a kicker that just goes out there, performs, and put up numbers. Week one, nine fantasy points, and then week two at the Patriots, 230 to 39 yarders, a 45 yarder, and two extra points. A so week three in the matchup versus the Dolphins, where I believe Jason Myers is going to get opportunities. And this Dolphin team, I don't believe they're going to put up points as much either with Skywood Thompson at quarterback, obviously, than Tua behind center so right now Jason Myers last season was a top 10 kicker in points per game and I think this season once again he's gonna have a great year and so far off to a good start in the early going so right now on a pretty high powered offense with great weapons but also an offense that stalls out we've seen over the last few seasons I think Jason Myers is a good ad this week so that's a few kickers I looked at off the wire for week three of the fantasy football season